Welcome back to week number six of the NFL season here in our Oakland Raiders franchise. Let's recap everything that happened in week six. Texans fall to the Colts. The Falcons beat the Buccaneers. The Jets get the best of the Bengals by three. The Eagles fall to the Giants. Giants move on to three and two. The Seahawks are unbeaten at six and zero after their win versus the Steelers. The Panthers they will beat the Titans. The Broncos remain unbeaten as well after their 35-21 victory over the Lions. The Skins beat down the Cowboys. The Rams get the better of the Cardinals. The Raiders we travel to Jacksonville get the job done 17 to six. The Chargers they will handle business versus those Patriots, the Browns. They beat the Niners. The Niners have not won so far this season, and the Ravens get the best of the Bills, and the Vikings, they're going to beat the Bears. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyways, man, Peyton Manning has the number one quarterback rating in the league. Blake Golson has thrown for the most yards. Ten touchdowns for him as well. Fifteen touchdowns for Tom Brady, Michael Vick, and Jake Plummer. And yes, Michael Vick is now a Cleveland Brown. This universe is insane, if you ask me. Jamal Lewis, 902 yards rushing, 6 TDs, already up over 150 yards rushing, and it's only, again, week number 6, or heading into week number 7 now. Starvin Marvin, 621 yards receiving, plus 7 touchdowns this season, but Mr. Davis... The dynamic duo of Vic to Davis has been lighting up the AFC North. Fisher has the most tackles at 57. Most tackles for loss goes to Peter Sermon. Most sacks, Mr. Weaver of the Green Bay Packers. And the most interceptions, Marcus Trufant of the Seattle Seahawks. And then three guys are tied for the most fumbles force. And that's Singleton, Freeney, and Posey. Now it's time for a game versus the San Diego Super Chargers. Both teams are looking up at the Denver Broncos. If we win, next week's game versus the Broncos might be for the first place spot in the AFC West. They're going to run the ball with Tomlinson and Mills is a crazy athlete at the end. Great speed, great strength. Can he put it all together and have a great NFL career? They're going to run the ball with Tomlinson, brought down by Pearson, and that's going to result in a first down. We're going to send a pass rush at Rivers, but they pick up the blitz, and he throws a strike to Dyson first down. So first and 15 for Rivers. Takes a shot deep, and Tim Dwight coming through when they need him to. So the Chargers are doing whatever they want to do. They're going to throw the ball here to ship on the screen pass. Execute it perfectly. He goes untouched to the crib. So a beautiful screen pass results in a touchdown, and we find ourselves down by seven. Going to fire to David Boston. Picks up 15 on first and 15, and we have a first down. Third down and four after the run to Jackson. Looking downfield. Caught by Eubanks. Takes a big hit, but he keeps on ticking. Move those chains. Golston fires it to the left side, and Doug Jolly getting open for his quarterback. Big time pass there. We throw it to Eubanks, and that's going to be another chain mover. And we're up inside the red zone that pass is cut and we're inside the 10 now david boston thank you for your hands we're gonna run the ball with jackson north and south takes it down to the two first and go follow your big fullback which is swain because mccrary he wasn't feeling too good after a couple of plays had to sit down but he will be back in action please believe it fullbacks are built differently seven seven is now the score they're going to run the ball with Tomlinson. Tomlinson going to pick up not a darn thing. They throw it to the flat. Caught by Wilson. He gets tattooed by Martin. Third down and eight to start the second quarter. And our defense is all over the place. Jason Hayes gets the TFL there. And he's going to be going up against the X-Raider, Langston Walker. So we're going to see what happens in that matchup. Doug Jolly hauls this one in. Gets upfield. Has a first down for those Raiders. We're inside the red zone here on second down and 12. Throw it to Swain again. Sometimes those tight ends at fullback make great pass option. Then McCray's back in the ball game. He got pancaked by Powell. Powell grabbed the face mask just a little bit, so it's not enough for a first down. So we will accept the penalty, but not go for it on fourth and inches. Set up for the field goal. Kick is up. Kick is good. So Wilson... He makes the play on third down that keeps the drive alive. Coleman going to tattoo Tomlinson. Four-man rush by the Raiders here on third down and 10. And that pass caught by Tomlinson, but out of bounds, so we take over. Blake Golston slides to the right, going to find Doug Jolly. When we go split backs, he is our fullback because I'm not running out of that formation. Doesn't make sense. We're going to go to the ground, though, via the sack. So third down and 20 now. Golston going to take a shot deep, and that pass is well defended. 
So the Chargers have a chance here. Minute 10 on the clock. That pass caught by Antonio Gates. And that's going to be a gain of six. Third down and four. Decent pass rush, but not going to get there. But we do force an incompletion. And now our offense has a chance to come right back at him. And come back at him, we do. Doug Jolly down that seam. Move those chains. Third down and ten. Looking downfield, and we're going to get sacked. So we're going to call a timeout with one second on the clock for fourth and 17. Going to try a Hail Mary. Taking a shot deep, and it falls incomplete. Didn't even get to the end zone. So let's head to the second half of play up by three. First down and 10. We get the football first. Ghostin looking to add to what is the start of a very, very good career in year number three. Already has a Super Bowl victory. And he's also been awarded the best quarterback in the league. That trophy, it stands in his locker. Or probably at his home in his trophy case. Jackson to the right side. Rumbling, bumbling, stumbling for a gain of eight. Jackson to the right side. Another carry for the Oregon State Beaver. Another Raiders first down. Ghost in buying time. Only 37 overall speed with a two-man rush. We're just going to buy time. Wait for Jackson to get open. And he gets open. For a first down. Second down and five. Give it to Steven Jackson up the gut there. Decent blocking and a decent carry for a gain of around four. Third and inches. That's a first down as we work our way to the one yard line. Steven Jackson is in action as he finds himself in the end zone again. 17 to seven. Chargers got to do something here. Time is not on their side. Still in the third quarter, but they haven't done too much already. Especially after that first drive when they scored their touchdown. Rivers looking downfield. That pass incomplete and another three and out. Can we avoid going three and out here? Third down to six with Eubanks from Jackson State. Oh, you can avoid going three and out. Jackson to the left side. Nice run there. Finishing off the run with some nice contact as he delivers the blow to the defensive back making the tackle. Eubanks down that right sideline for a Raiders first down. To the end zone is caught by Boston, but the ball doesn't cross the goal line. So start the fourth quarter, give it to McCray, and let the fullback get his. Get your fullbacks involved, and then Hayes beats Langston Walker and gets in there for the sack. Third down and 16, that pass in and out of the hands of Antonio Gates. Took a big hit. As soon as the ball got there, wasn't going to be enough for a first down. Anyways, that pass, phenomenal. Right around the linebacker into the hands of Eubanks, first down. Jackson with another nice carry. We came into the ball game after, what, after last week's game, what, 31st in the, in the league in rushing? Not great, but we know we can run the ball. And there goes Kelly showing you exactly that. Runs the ball through traffic, picks up a touchdown, 31-7. to seven. The beatdown is just about complete. But there goes Antonio Gates, 40, 30, 25, 20. He's going to take this one all the way down to the 16-yard line. Second down and 10. Rivas has it, throws it, caught by Gates. And that right there is going to knock the lead down from 31 to 7 to 31 to 13. They're going to go for two. They're not going to get it. And ladies and gentlemen, that is your ball game. So Blake goes to no touchdowns, no picks, 20 to 27 today. When we got in the red zone, it was get the ball to our running backs and get out the way. Uh, besides that, though, he's going to have a phenomenal season when it comes to stats. Already number one in passing yards. We have a great receiving core. If, if our running game can get going, that's just going to open up the passing game even more. So I'm not really worried about his touchdown interception ratio, although it is 10 to 8, I believe. Brady is 15 to 8. That's tops in the league. So we want to get closer to that. So week number 8 was our bye week. The Saints, they fall to the Panthers in Carolina. The Panthers are now 6 and 1. The Skins, they would beat the Lions. The Falcons, they would lose to the Eagles. The Chargers, they would lose to the Bears. So back to back losses for them. Packers over the Vikings. Got the Giants over the Bills, Browns over the Bengals in the Battle of Ohio. Patriots, they will beat the Titans. The Seahawks, they survive in overtime. They are 7 0 after 20 17 victory versus Tampa. The Jaguars, they beat the Texans. Texans are 2 5 on the year. The Jets, they will lose to the Chiefs. The Ravens, they will beat the Rams. The Dolphins over the Steelers and the Niners. On Monday Night Football, remain winless. Week 7 saw the Broncos, who had their bye week in Week 8, also lose for the first time this season. So if we win today's ball game, we will be in first place. But the game is in mile high. Both teams are coming off a of bye week, so both teams have plenty of time to prepare. However, when you're the home team in these matchups, sometimes things go your way. But let's see what happens here in the mile high state. Can we get the job done? 
Run the ball with Jackson right there for a nice gain of seven. Coming back to David Boston on third down and short, and we pick up the first down. The O-line picks up the blitz there. Going to give us plenty of time for Eubanks to get open and goes in to throw a perfect pass to his draft class mate. Jackson to the left side. He's going to go nowhere fast just to gain a three. Well, I guess that's not nowhere. We throw it into a crowd, and that pass is broken up. So third down and seven. Golston throws it underneath. And that's not going to be a first down. And John Madden would say you can't run a route short of the first down marker on third down. What are you doing? What are you doing? Chad Bailey on the return here. Broncos down by three. And he coughs up the football on the kick return. And we're there for the recovery. Second down, 10 yards to go. Jackson to the left side again. Trying to get this rushing attack going. Got the whole second half of the season to do just that. And I think we will. Second down and 11 now for Jackson. Breaks a tackle and Jackson is to the crib. That's how you do things here. So first down and 10. Offset I look. The Broncos are down by 10. Bennett to the outside. And Bennett, he gives us fits. Year in and year out since he's joined the Broncos. He's been one of the guys that has tore us up in the rushing attack. Third down and five now for the Broncos. Design quarterback keeper. And I pity the fool that called that play on third down. We get the ball to Jackson on second down. We pick up one yard. Third down and nine. Going to look downfield. We throw it to Porter. His first catch goes for three. But Champ Bailey is on him like glue. And we don't pick up no more than that. So we go three and out. Bennett to the left side. Picks up nine. Second down and inches. They give it to him again. Breaks a tackle. Has a first down at the Raiders 45-yard line. So can our defense hold this team? They're going to find their tight end coming across the middle. And that's going to result in a gain of eight. We send a blitz. We hit Plummer. But Plummer gets it to Bennett. And Bennett turns nothing into something. And Napoleon Harris is shaken up to end the first quarter. So first down and 10. Plummer gives the ball to Bennett. Has space to operate. This Broncos O-line is just pushing our D-line back like it's nothing. Weaver makes the catch right there. Toss play to Bennett. And Bennett has reservations for six. Broncos made it look too easy on that drive. We're dropping back. Got Doug Jolly wide open. Wanted to make sure he stays up that sideline and doesn't veer out of bounds before the ball gets to him. And it would have been incomplete. There goes our 37 overall speed quarterback picking up a gain of five. Going to drop it off to McCray on third down. And that's not going to get the job done. So we got a first down on our first play. But then we basically go three and out after that. So the Broncos take over. They run the ball with Bennett, and Bennett's going to get busy. Bennett all the way down to the Raiders' 31-yard line, 86 yards rushing for the Broncos as a team so far, and it's basically been all Bennett. Gain of three right there. They give it to him up the gut. Breaks the tackle, but then it gets put down by Williams. Plummer dropping back. We get a good pass rush, but the ball gets out of there as quick as you can imagine, and Thompson holds it in for a first down. They drop it off to Mike Anderson. Breaks two tackles. Still on his feet. Put down by Gibson inside the five. And then Bennett following his big, I guess you could call him a fullback. He wears 83, so I'm guessing he's a tight end playing fullback. But my goodness, he laid a pancake block on the outside, and Bennett got to the end zone. We need some more of that in our life. Jackson to the left side, and that's going to result in a gain of nine. Give it to Jackson here. Good blocking. Has something to find, and he finds a first down. We want to find those more often. That pass broken up. Now we're looking at third down and 13. Golston slides right. Going to readjust Porter's route, but gets hit, sticked in the process, and that pass falls incomplete. Right over the middle, and Plummer's pass was absolutely phenomenal. Plummer has it. Throws it. It's going to be intercepted by Harris. And that right there is going to bring their drive to an end. That's going to give us a chance to take the lead right back. But... Yo, Chan Bailey is the player hater of the year. Bats that one away. Goes to looking for Eubanks. Overthrows him. Now we got to set up for a 55-yard field goal. It is never easy for me, but in mile high, kicks can be had in this thin air. And it sure was had right there. Accuracy was pretty darn good, as well. We know Janikowski got a boot. Second down and five. Plummer up the gut with a QB keeper, and that's going to work that time. We're going to send the blitz. Not going to get there. That pass caught by Ashley Lalee. Now Plummer over the middle. Going to find his man, but the ball is out of there. Crowell jumps on top of that thing, and we take over with 13 seconds on the clock. Going to take a shot deep. Tight coverage, and that pass falls incomplete. 
Third down, now only eight seconds on the clock, and a look down field caught by Boston, and Boston has us at the 40. We might be in field goal range, but you know I'm still a nervous kicker. I know that I just did, but I'm still a nervous kicker. So we're going to get a little bit closer. 51-yard attempt is up, and this one is good. The way we kicked that thing 40 from the 40 probably would have been easy. But again, your boy is a nervous kicker, all right? So we're going to send this one deep, and champ got tagged too. We ain't trying to hurt the man, but if he has to you know, miss some plays on defense so we can get poured to the ball a little bit more, I'll take that. Second down and two, that pass caught. Thompson breaks the tackle, caught by Tillman. That's a touchdown saving tackle by Peanut. They're going to run the ball up the gut. Harris with the stop. They give it to Gaines, and Gaines, I don't think he gained a thing. Mills is there for the stop. They're going to run the ball with Bennett, and our defense is flying around now. So third down and four, can we get off the field? Plummer throws it, caught by Lalee. Tillman is there for the takedown, but it's a first down for the Broncos. Gaines up the gut, he fumbles it, and Anderson jumps on top of it, and maybe we should have challenged the fumble because maybe he was down. Bennett in the flat with all that speed. He just ran away from the guy covering him. He gets into the end zone, 20-16. to 16. They go for two, they get it, and they're up by six. So we got some drive downfield to match this team score for score, blow for blow, and we're going to pick up a gain of nine right there. Now we give it to Jackson. He's weaving through traffic. Got a mean block by Boston. Springs him down that left sideline. And we're up to the Broncos 30-yard line now. Looking for Eubanks. Another dime to Eubanks from Blake Golston. We're going to find Steven Jackson in the end zone. And we take a one-point lead. So the game for first place in the West is living up to the hype. Plummer under pressure. Going to sidestep. Then he gets brought down by Harris. Third down and 12. He sent a blitz. Is not going to get there. And Lalee has been open. And Plummer has been cooking. Plummer to the right side. Has a man open again. That's Thompson who holds that one in. Fourth quarter now. Bennett to the right side. Brought down by Wells. Looking like a good outside linebacker. Him and Mark could be a dynamic outside linebacker pairing for years to come. That pass is caught. And that's a first down. Bennett to the left side. Takes two Raiders to bring him down after a gain of four. Second down and six. That pass caught by Weaver. And they're inside the five. So second down to go. Can we get a stop? And we do. Third down and goal now. Plummer has it. Those are quickly as caught. Corner of the end zone. A perfect pass for the defense that we were in. They go for two yet again. They're not going to get it. So 28 to 25 is now. 28 to 23, excuse me, is the lead. A five point lead. Is where I got the five from. And now we're going backwards. Loss of 11 on first down. Going to go to the air here. That pass is well defended. Three straight pass plays because you know we got pass it here. Will this one be complete? No. So a sack and two incompletions has us looking up and hoping that somebody can do something for us. Second down and six. They're going to throw this one deep. And Lalee got the best of Tillman again. Tillman Basically having his worst day as a Raider. I think that's fair to say. He's had a great start to the season. We did not regret signing him, but this has been a little rough. Kelly to the left side, and Kelly, nice game there. After a good kick return by Philip Buchanan. Kelly up the gut. We got to cut to the right, not to the left, but it's still a first down. Now we need 10 yards on second down. Looking for Drew Carter, who happened to get both feet in bounds. Looking downfield for Steven Jackson. Makes the catch right there. Brought down just shy of that yellow line. So second down and one. Golston surveys the field. Throws it to Jackson again. Breaks the tackle and falls forward for a Raiders first down. 3.21 on the clock, so we got to hurry up. Looking downfield for Eubanks. And Eubanks has another reception. And we're inside the five. Mr. Jackson puts us across the goal line again. So 2.08 on the clock. And we have all three of our timeouts. They run the ball there for a gain of four. Second down and six. And Bennett's going to pick up the first down. We've got to burn our first timeout there. We have two left. Hayes is there to bring down Bennett. So third down. We have no timeouts. On third and five, we get the stop. So we get the ball back with a minute 07 on the clock. Got to drive downfield for a touchdown. Blake Golston looking downfield for Eubanks. It's tipped and picked by Champ Bailey. And that is going to do it. 35 to 30 is the final. Again, a game that lived up to the height. But I think one of the worst decisions in this ball game was passing the ball three straight times 
after we gave up that scoring drive to the Broncos because Steven Jackson was actually playing pretty well. He finished the game with 17 carries with 74 yards. Obviously, when we when we got down by two scores, running the ball was kind of out of the option or out of the framework of our game plan. But when you're just down by one score, you can definitely still rely on the ground game. We probably should have did that there. So that three and out when we gave up a sack and then two straight incompletions, that kind of sealed our fate. And then, of course, the pick at the end. But, hey. You live and you learn and you continue to play Madden until you get it right. But that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. To me again, my friends. Peace, love. Hot sauce.